So what's up guys? Uh, today on my brother's, what is it, 2002 Dodge Cummins. We're replacing his old crusty headlights with some new, are they LEDs? Yeah. With some new Halo. LEDs. What? what Halo. are Halos. So, should be a fun install. Let's get to it. Right there. You gotta unlatch it. What you make the closing for there? You gotta talk louder too. What you make the closing for? Your truck, I'm here to help. What? I don't know. Get out of my way. I'm gonna take that out. He's already unscrewing one from the bottom. And then he already did the one that was right under there. Now, that should release the headlight. You got to take this rubber seal off. Jeez. Wrong bolt. Are you taking off the lens or the whole assembly? I don't know. The whole thing. Well, you got to make do this one so that it's even so it doesn't crack the old lens. What am I keeping these for? Why not? Sell them to somebody. Water lenses. Got water fill up an ocean in here. Oh, yep, I see the water. The ocean's leaking. Right oh, there. I guess I did take it off. Don't, yeah, you took the lens off. It'd probably be a good idea to unhook your back. Yeah, I'm out! Jeez, man. Ocean's trying to the bottom. There, there's your water-filled lens. And man, it's crusty as hell in there. Take that to the closest garbage can. Pull that out, it's already loose. Now what? Just let it hang. There's one above it, and that's what's holding it in. Actually, let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so you take out the one bolt there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bolt that goes in there. There's a bolt that goes in right there that connects to the back side. And then on top, like right above the headlight, in between the fender, there's a clip right in here, like right in the middle, that you unhook and then the headlight should come out. So I had to take like a 10, 15 minute break to charge my battery for my camera and I said, I really need a second one, a second battery. And he goes, what, a second battery for my truck? I said, no, a second battery for my camera. He goes, well, your truck's not a real truck unless you got two batteries. Uh -huh. This headlight is now free because this metal clip needed popped off. It was over top of that uh, torque screw thing right there. I don't even know what to call it. So just gonna pop out the headlight and then that can come off. And we'll do the same thing over here. You took it all the way out. Wow, oh, I unscrewed that puppy for a long time. You gotta help me work on my cars. I might supervise for a little bit. To supervise. I need little, that tiny screwdriver. <laughs> Rolling! Oh. Alright, go ahead. So the bottom bolt's already popped all the way out now. Should be able to move this better to get room to that. There you go. So now I can reach that clip from the other side. I'm the one that should be holding the camera. You're the, this is your truck. Hey. What? Why are you zooming in on my face? <laughs> the heck is that? Construction vehicle. GI Joe. I don't know why the heck they had to put a oh. clip over top of this. Easier to damn lens wasn't in the way. Take that puppy off. I don't know how. Uh, the, 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 on the bottom. I'll do it. We'll break it. Yep. Rolling! Alright, go ahead. Finally can get to the clip now. Should hear it pop off. Hopefully I don't mess up. There it goes. Wow. There's your clip. 
and the bolt runs through this and then the clip goes over top of the bolt so you just got to pop that clip off and then you can pull the assembly out you're welcome thanks hey is that uh Cummins shirt and hat make you go faster when you drive your truck yeah it's five horsepower five horsepower ten horsepower there come and sticker in the back window that's plus 20. really yeah so five five ten it's 20 then 10 in the back 30. i thought i said 20 in the back that's what okay i messed up yeah so now i just gotta unhook the headlight on each side and then you can unbox the new ones and get them put on so let's get to it you have to untwist this off and then pop these blue clips up and off and then it'll release the headlight so come hold this one so i can show you what are you doing you gotta untwist this and pull that off pop that up off there and your headlights out you just put your new one on And that, or no, here, show it over here too. So you untwist that, pop your blue clip, any day now, get in between them, and maybe it'll go there. There's the yellow one. Both headlights out, time to install the new ones. Okay, folks, we got some new headlights here. Where's your other, the other one in there? Yeah, they're both in there. There, pull the big one. I give it birth. <laughs> Can I see that? I don't know. A brand new headlights. That looks good. I gotta take the turn signals off. Dude, you had a bee living in there. See that yellow thing? A... You, you, all you do is twist it counterclockwise and pull them out. And your turn signals are out too. That's pretty fancy. Just twist, pull out. There you go. Oh, what? It's like the ocean, man. Yeah. Look at all that condensation. I didn't realize. Look at all that condensation in there. It is quality headlight I had in there. All right, so the uh, problem that we ran into, we had to take out surrounding plastic diesel that was behind the headlight. We unhooked the main headlight from here because the new ones have to be wired in to get all the LEDs working and everything. So this was the part that we had to take out. So we'll pull that out. Got to unhook the bulbs. And then we had to take the uh, top plastic trim piece off of the bumper so that the new headlights could actually fit in position. Come on! Come on, Paul! Come on, Paul! Is he still there? Are you still there? <laughs> Look at the Ram. 2500 Cummins. 24 valve. <laughs> Turbo. Diesel. So in order to take out the plastic piece, since the new headlights, it's practically built into it, and it replaces this. It's three bolts. You take out a bolt there, a bolt there, and then a bolt down here and then that'll pop out here. And don't lose these bolts because with the headlights that he got, you don't get replacement bolts. There you go. So both headlights are completely out now. And all we gotta do is put in the new ones. And it's gonna take a while because we just realized, here I'll show you, that 
a lot more goes into these. It's not just plug and play. Like for this one, it's easy because it just pop out that blue piece and then that just plugs right into there. But to get the LEDs working and all that, you gotta wire all this stuff in. It's gonna be a pain, so. About time. Hey I'll come, I'll come again. I'm going up there, right? You're now. coming up here, all right. Stop for parts and stop for food. It's about time they got back. It was like an hour. What'd you get? Shrink tubing. What is it? Shrink tubing. Can you explain why you needed that? We got shrinking puppies in there, so don't short out. Yeah, you gotta get these things. That's all you bought? Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Wow. Yeah. For eight of them, it was two bucks. So that's it. I'll just buy the whole thing. Just buy all these. It only took half the day to install the damn headlights. They ain't even in yet. Come on, Paul! Come on, Paul! Why don't you go grab that for me? I want to know it's about taller, it. please. Look at the chair right there. Take this one. Please go get that. Ooh, what's the difference? Oh, no, you stay up here. Then get going. Then get going. <laughs> In these three wires here, I got to find the power wire for the running lights. Running lights, turn signal, and ground. How do you know which is which? So that's lit up. This is real sharp on the end. And when you push it through the rubber, it contacts the copper strands inside. And then it gets its ground over here where, it's, where the other end is cl clipped on. So you know that one is the one powering the running lights. So if I touch it to this one, it doesn't light up. Nate, go turn the turn signals on. It should blink with the turn signal on. I need to blink it off of that. It is blinking. Oh, okay. it goes on and off with the bulb. Okay, it wasn't good. a reflection. Oh, okay. It's just not. That's really why right. you need me here. Yeah. There's our running light, the middle one. Okay, good. Middle's running light. What's the right one? Turn signal. And what's the left? Left one? one's the ground. I'm putting the shrink tube on here. I'm gonna solder these two together because you don't want to use electric tape because after a while it will fall off, and that's gonna let salt under your wires. And then they'll turn green and you'll end up with a bad connection. And then you'll have to troubleshoot the system to find a problem. Well, we're picking up the running light to power all the little LEDs around the headlight. So I'm covering that, that bare spot up right there. Give me the little torch first. You can see it, but it's shrunk down. It, see how it's shrunk down? So it's now tighter than any electric tape will ever get. Got it hot enough. Smearing the solder around so it totally covers the connection. And let it cool down. We had to cut it because there was a bare spot in the wire. And that's the only way you can get the shrink tube on is cut the wire. Solder it back together. This is what we gotta connect up. You know what I'm thinking? We ain't gonna do it this way. Because if you ever need to take these out, like when you go to paint it, you know what's gonna happen? You're not gonna get them out because they're gonna be soldered in and then we gotta go through all this again. We're gonna get a double plug. Waterproof double plug. Do you have them? I'm not here at home. Oh my god. So we're gonna go back. <laughs> not right now, but we gotta go back in. Yeah. Oh my god. Because we need more parts that we don't have. Just kidding. We, we actually had one in the garage, so we got lucky there. But uh this will only work for one side, so we're gonna have to wait till next week to actually finish both headlights. We'll get one done tonight, and then we'll jump to next week when the other headlight gets done, and then we'll wrap up the video there. So luckily we had this so we can get one done at least. Can you explain what you're doing? All right, well, when they sell these, it's a watertight connector, same as you'd use on your trailer plug or when, when you're pulling a boat or box trailer or any kind of trailer. But this is only a two wire one. So, this way, in case we want to take the light out, we don't have to recut the wires. We got a connecting, it's a waterproof 
watertight connection. So we'll solder that into both halves, one half to the light and one half to the wiring harness. All this for headlights, Nate? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. We got a problem. It don't work. Come on! Is, is this seriously in? not? Yeah, it's plugged Hit in. Hit the breaker, maybe. Plug this directly into that and see if it works. Okay. What's up with that? I'll plug that back into there and try plugging it into that again. Wiggle it around. Try it. Put it in the other one. It's on. Mm. Go get one of the ones with the long floor bar like I asked you to bring. Why'd you take your thing and throw it away then? I have, it used to work. It don't work no more. Hey, look at all them ducks! Woo! Oh, now, four ducks, man. Uh, you know, we gotta like do this twice. Now, do it on the other side again. Look, 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 look. Circle them back up. Where are they at? Oh, there they go. Garbage. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I wasn't expecting this to take all day, Nate. Ah. On a website. Plug and plug. Oh, it ain't plug and play anymore. Oh, there goes our light. What are you doing, Nate? All right, sure. I'm plugging. Put the other puppy back in, or what am I no, supposed to do? Plug it in when I'm ready for it. Nate. Huh. You get that extension cord plugged in? No, you tell me that I'm not to unplug it. Okay. English. It is English. Yeah, I'm plugging out. You speak your own language. Nah. Yeah, my hands are cold. You need that light? What are you looking at? Nope. Didn't you just do this? On a different one. Go four, five of them to do it. On one light? Yeah. You gotta solder five different things. Yeah. Wow. Even more if we figure out what them two red wires are for. What are you doing? Ah, stop that! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> you almost done with this one? Yeah. You just try to solder it. Where the uh, shrink tube will fit over it. There it goes. There it goes. You gotta do that right in my ear. <laughs> nah, I don't keep that. <laughs> so you throw it in the bed of your truck. <laughs> that thing can warm up my hands. Ow. It'll burn the skin off of them. He was done. Yep. Chocolate. <laughs> no, one like, no, thank you. <laughs> and where's that clip go? That's the ground wire. No, that, that. This end yeah. is going to attach to the other end that gets hooks to the headlight. It's going to take any longer, my hands are going to freeze off. Well, it ain't my fault mm -hmm. that we're out here. Whose is it? Nathan's fault. Negative. Thought this was going to take an hour. <laughs> Took like all day. We ain't even got one in. I thought you were the pro. You don't need a manual. I just want to make sure I do it the right way. So you have to put the other end of that connector on the headlight? Yep. To match up with this? Yep. Two more solder joints and we're done. Nate, if you'd stand up higher, I could see what I'm doing. And the people could actually see since it's like pitch black out here. Look. Can't see anything. Johnny's on his way. He better not be. Yeah, he is. He'll be here in five minutes. Johnny doesn't need to be here. Yeah, he does. Every video you're in, you mention him. Because he annoys me. Wow. Squidward. How much longer, Paul? A oh, while. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the last wire? Last one. Hey, they're on. So, all that wiring we just did was for those three lights? Yep. Really? Yep. Wow. Supposed to go. So there's two wires on the bottom of the light, that black and red one. We have no idea what the heck they go to. Did that halo turn on? 
No, the is this the halo earlier. here? Yeah. That's the main light. That turned on earlier when we tried it. Mm -hmm. Only the center part did, though. So we connected those two wires that we didn't know what they went to, and it turns In, on. Into the running light circuit again. And it turns on the halo around the headlight. Okay, when the light is shipped from the factory, they put this sticker over the back to keep any moisture from getting in it. And that's where your turn signal bulb, your original turn signal bulb goes back in. That looks sweet. Then oh. that's gonna go up into there. Why do I blink like that? Because you're jiggling it. It's temporarily setting in there right now. Running lights and halos on. Turn the main headlight on. Main headlight. That looks sweet. Shine it on it. Now close it. Back at it like, what, two weeks later? All the headlights are wired and then now they just need put in. It's been tough because when I was at school, the weather, my dad worked over. I don't know what he's been doing, but we're finally wrapping up the uh, headlight installs. Okay, let's just do it. I'll do a time lapse. Put all your stuff back in there. What are you, come on. I don't think we think don't watch it. I don't know. <laughs> if you share it with your dumb friends. Hi. I like these. Send it to Johnny. Oh. Every time I say Johnny in a video, he ends up watching it just because he likes to hear his name. Yeah. And there's me. Bring that puppy back here. What? Okay, folks, what do you think? Eight inch step. It's big enough. No, that's a six. That ain't big enough. Or a ten inch cat step. So, a bigger exhaust tip or an exhaust? Cat stack. A stack. You heard him. Drop it in the comments. Would you rather see a bigger exhaust tip or a cat stack out the bed of the truck? <laughs> you know the last time we did this, it was like... 60 degrees out here yeah. now it's like 25. I'm, shorts on. I'm cold. We We're done. We're done. I was just gonna stand back at the bed and I don't care what you do. Ah. So we just wrapped up the uh, headlight install. I uh, think they turned out pretty good, but <clears throat> um, I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, headlight install is all wrapped up. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. Uh, really trying to spread the word about my channel because we got a lot of other cool videos to come. And uh, if you liked it, hit that uh, thumbs up button and uh, subscribe. There's the part you'll like. So as, uh, as usual, always accelerate and don't look back. We'll catch you on the next one. Comment. Nope. Bye, comments. Don't buy Dakota. It's still Mopar. My baby. Are you on me? Yeah. Is the mic on? <laughs> yeah. Why are you recording me eating?
Why don't you spit straight up in the air and have it land in your face? Can I spit in your food? No. Hog. I'm here with you. I worked out five days this week. I here, worked out three hit days. Hit that 90. This week. I can't do it. You do it then. Come on.